Hey guys, I'm York, the reporter of Discover Nanjing social media platform. So it's just going to be a couple of days before the 2018 World Historical and Cultural Cities Expo. So today, I lead you guys to walk around the city and show the rich cultural foundation of this old capital. And for sure, the most important thing is have an overview of this year's West events. The Oriental Metropolitan Museum is a comprehensive museum of art and history with over a hundred and thousand objects. As a witness of the history of Nanjing, these artworks, documents, and research results demonstrate the development track of this city in each historic stage of China. So these objects, whose dates can be tracked back from the Republic of China to ancient times, are of exceptionally high value for art, historical and scientific research. Curators and scholars from the Louvre, the British Museum, the Ufis Galleries, the National Museum of China, and the Palace Museum will be gathered in Nanjing for the cultural exhibition sector of this. In the following three months, 40 to 50 classic artworks and important documents from 20 European museums will be displayed here. The Nanjing Municipal Museum. See, I'm now in the valley of Nanjing City Wall. Interesting, right? So here is Taichung Book Bar, which is located in the shores of Xuanwu Lake. Reading with Chinese tea, absolutely an unforgettable experience that you can only find in Nanjing. In order to cooperate the application of World Book Capital with Nanjing, from May 26 to 27, Belt and Road Forum for Literature and International Use from on Creativity and Heritage along the Silk Road will be held in all literary spots in Nanjing. Then UNESCO, literary masters, world famous writers and scholars will be invited. More than these big guys, during the waste period, Chinese literature speeches, art exhibitions, reading marathons, and many interesting events will be held simultaneously. Initiated in 2004, the World Historical and Cultural Cities Expo is a biennial gathering for cultural exchanges internationally. In 2013, WIS organizing committee engaged with UNESCO through a strategic partnership. In 2016, the media cooperation from on Belt and Road was held successfully during the 7th week. So far, this grand expo has been held with great success in Nanjing 7 times, attended by a total of 276 mayors of cultural cities from 74 countries and regions, as well as hundreds of world-renowned scholars and representatives of international cultural institutes. So the 2018 WIS is going to be held from May 25th to 28th. There are four major sectors of this year. So cultural exhibitions, literature publishing, intangible heritage innovation, and heritage of the city. So now, are you wondering about what do these stands for? Let's go, i show you. The Nanjing City Wall, built in the early stage of the Ming Dynasty, is a building system of the capital city used mainly for military defense and a symbol of the centralization of authority. Initially built in the 26th year of Zhizheng period, which was a classic work in the building history of ancient capital in China. In 2006 and 2012, the Nanjing City Wall, as the best preserved city wall with the largest scale in the world, was listed twice on the prepared list for Chinese World Cultural Heritage by the State Administration of Cultural Heritage. In 2014, Nanjing was identified as the leading city for the joint application of the China's Ming and Qing city walls for the World Heritage. The 2018 International Forum on Conservation and Utilization of Nanjing City Wars will be held in Yuejiang Tower. Many officers from culture-related department of UNESCO and international well-known scholars will be invited to this from here. Hey guys, I'm now in Jiangning Imperial Silk Manufacturing Museum. Amazing exhibition of Chinese intangible culture heritage is being held behind. Let's go and see what the pressures are hidden in it. Intangible culture heritage carries Chinese traditional culture and craft technology, which is abundant treasure that our ancestors leave behind to us. Brocade, 
gold foil, revealed flower and tannin are Nanjing's cultural treasures with extraordinary high value. And their derivatives such like weaving story, surprise card, revealed flower brooch, and mortise ring are unique. Especially the surprise card, which is designed by Kim Bak. The card is spread by gold foil layer. As long as you blow it, the pattern hidden behind the layer will appear. During the 2018 West, nearly 100 original artworks from 50 international designers and artists, and 30 important art documents and manuscripts in the history will be displayed in the exhibition of tradition now. We expect it to interpret craftsmanship spirit and Chinese aesthetics by the intangible heritage innovation sector of West. So far, do you have certain awareness to the 2018 with right now? As a guy who was born in Nanjing but resided abroad for many years, I am attracted to this city by its rich culture and historical deposits again. And very sincerely to tell you that you really deserve a trip here to feel the charm of this old capital.